That, guys, was, for me, the best race I've ever seen live. The 2019 German Grand Prix from Hockenheim. What a absolute classic it was. With rain, dry tyres, wet tyres all the time. Just brilliant overtakes. Drivers going off. A midfield team on the podium. What a Grand Prix. You cannot ask for any more in Formula 1. And now, in this race review, somehow, I'm going to review... What happened in this Grand Prix? So let's go to first the results. The winning of the Grand Prix is Max Verstappen for Red Bull from Sebastian Vettel second, who started last. Daniel Kvyat, first podium for Toro Rosso since 2008. Lance Stroll fourth, Carlos Sainz fifth, Albon sixth, Raikkonen seventh, Giovinazzi eighth, Grosjean ninth and Magnussen in tenth. And then finishing out the points, but uh, finishing the race, Hamilton, Kubica, Russell and Gasly, even though Gasly technically did retire. And then your other retirements, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Norris, Ricardo, and Perez. So now let's delve into the chaos and let's start off with the home team Mercedes who were looking very, very good for the first 20 laps or so. Having a 1-2 looked pretty comfortable. But then once the track started to dry out, that's when their problems started because once they went on to dry tyres, it started raining again. Then the drivers were going off track. Lewis Hamilton went off at the final corner and broke a part of his front wing. And then I got a five second penalty for not going into the pit lane in the right area. And then spent about a minute in the pit lane, just over a minute actually, in the pit lane. Cost him a lot. Went down to P5. He did get back up to p3 but then he uh spun off after another uh, couple safety cars or virtual safety cars out there at turn one once they went on to dry tires again spun off at turn one and he pitted again and then ended up in p11 very very poor race for lewis hamilton considering that normally in the you know changeable conditions lewis hamilton should be the best driver on the grid but today he clearly was not even if he didn't want to go on to dry tires when he did you have to say he was not that good today and same goes for valtteri bottas he was doing all right up until uh the safety car around i believe lap 30 but then it really just was a mess after that because he dropped down the field then was having to pass people. Then a safety car came out again for Hulkenberg crashing. Then Valtteri had to pass so many cars as the dry tyres went on again for the final few laps of the Grand Prix. And Valtteri, when trying to get a podium finish and get P2 ahead of Stroll, Kvyat, Vettel, Sainz, drivers like that, pushed way too hard, bottled it and went out of the race. And considering his teammate was low down, you have to say, Valtteri, that his championship chances are now dead and he blew it because if he got 18 points per second, I think Valtteri would be right back in the hunt. But now I don't think he is. But for the team, what a disaster. No points scored. And hopefully for them at Hungary, things will improve. It should do because I don't think we'll have as chaotic a Grand Prix. Next up, Ferrari. Who for one of their drivers, great day, Sebastian Vettel from last on the grid to P2. He wasn't looking too good um, after the great start he had where he went up to P8. He wasn't looking too good for a lot of the wet running because he was down at about P8, was slower than Kimi Raikkonen by quite a bit and looked as though he wasn't really going anywhere. But after multiple virtual and real safety cars, at the end, with about 20 laps to go, put on the soft tyres, and then he got his way after the safety car came out again for Valtteri Bottas crashing. He got his way uh, back into a podium position up to second. Great drive by Sebastian Vettel and he fully deserves it because his pace in the dry when it mattered at the end was very, very good. Charles Leclerc. I do feel sorry a bit for Charles Leclerc because he was looking very strong after getting up to P4 and getting close to... Uh, Verstappen and Bottas but he made the mistake and he crashed out and he deserved to uh, finish in the wall because he made the mistake I do feel slightly sorry for him but there you go 
errors happened. It was great up to that point, but the error occurred. But for Ferrari, a good day for one of their drivers, and hopefully for Vettel, that has cleared the demons of Hockenheim 2018. Next up is Red Bull, who again are winners in 2019. Max Verstappen, great drive, wasn't flawless. He did make an error on an outlap on the medium tyres when it started uh, to rain again. But you have to say, once he got into the lead of the Grand Prix, when Bottas and Hamilton were making their respective errors, you have to say that Max Verstappen was dominant in winning the Grand Prix in the end and fully deserved to win. Great drive, and it is great to see that he is you know, still continuing these great performances as of late. And you have to say, compared to Lewis Hamilton, who we like to compare to at the moment in terms of wet weather performances, Today, Max Verstappen was better in this, you know, changeable race. You have to say that. So great there for Max. Pierre Gasly, not a good day. Really not a good day. Dropped all the way back to the back. Uh, made his way through. Was looking pretty good at times, but was around, you know, P7, P8. And then at the very end of the race, when trying to get P6, he hit the back of Albon. I don't know yet if Albon was, you know, in uh, at fault for that, but... You have to say Gasly didn't have a good day and I don't think you can count this as a good uh, weekend or good race for Pierre Gasly because he should have done better in my opinion. But for Red Bull, great day. Podium, uh, well not even podium, race win of course for Max Verstappen and again they outscore Ferrari by six, uh, not six points, by eight points. So Red Bull continue to close in on Ferrari in the constructors. Now let's go to the midfield. First off, Renault, awful day. Ricardo running P12 and his engine blown to bits. Uh, it, it's a big shame for him, but there you go. That uh, normally tends to happen for Renault power drivers. Uh, and then Nico Hulkenberg at one point, around halfway in the race, he was in P2, then got passed by Bottas and Hamilton and was looking good for maybe a podium. And I think he would have been on the podium if he you know, stayed in that area. But then... When it mattered most, in the wet conditions, he bottled it and put it in the wall. And that is why I don't rate Nico Hülkenberg as that high of a driver. Because when there is a sniff of a podium, he doesn't produce when it matters. And again, he did not produce when it mattered. So there you go. But for Renault, awful day, especially considering McLaren scored 10 points with Carlos Sainz. So let's go on to McLaren now. Now... I think it was a mostly good day for Carlos Sainz and also McLaren. Uh, Lando Norris did have some kind of gearbox issue. Uh, his race was not that good, to be honest. Uh, was Norris, he wasn't that quick today. Uh, so that really did put him out of his misery. And then Carlos Sainz, um, he did make an error whilst running in P8 or P7, I think. Went down to 14th, but then somehow, someway, got his way back into the top six and then finished in the top five because of Valtteri Bottas's crash so very very good drive by Carlos Sainz again when are people gonna give this guy mad credit he's been so good this season and again another great result for the team and McLaren continue to pull away in the constructors next up is Alfa Romeo I do feel sorry a bit for Kimi I know he made an error at the final corner but if he didn't make that error I think Kimi could have been on the podium today he was very quick he was actually Quicker than Sebastian Vettel in the wet. That is seriously impressive stuff. Very, very impressive by Kimi Raikkonen. And if you look at the result, P7, it's still good, but it could have been better. It could have been P2 or P3 today. It really could have been because Raikkonen was, at times, quite comfortably ahead of Sebastian Vettel. So it's a shame, but... You know, at least he still got some good points. And for Antonio Giovinazzi, also good points. And I want to say great drive because I didn't think he'd be that good in the wet, but he was. So good day for Alpha, but it could have been a whole lot better. No doubt about that. Also good day for Haas, a double points finish. Ninth and tenth, I believe. First points finish since Monaco. And yeah, good day. Uh, Haas were not always strongly in the points, but they were always in and around there. And I think they do deserve to finish in the points. And I think they have had a good weekend. So good for Haas. 
And what is actually quite weird, considering the reputation of the drivers, is that they didn't really have any crashes. So great for them, and hopefully they can continue this great form. Next up, though, Toro Rosso. What a day. First podium in 11 years, and Daniel Kvyat's first podium since 2016, his third podium in his Formula 1 career, what a day for F1 at Toro Rosso. Also, Albon, for the moment, until the investigation with him and Pierre Gasly clears, sixth place for him. So that's 23 points for this team. Great, great result. A podium for the team. I'm so happy for Toro Rosso because they do deserve it. They work so hard and they absolutely do deserve it. And Kvyat also does because he has been very good this season. And this is just a further reason why Kvyat should be at Red Bull for in my opinion for uh, 2020 ahead of Pierre Gasly a podium in a Toro Rosso imagine what you could do in a Red Bull so for me Kvyat very very good and for me Daniel is the driver of the day and also Albon drove very well very consistent didn't make I think any errors today a very good drive by him and yeah 23 points for Toro Rosso they're right back in the fight in the constructors, especially with teams like Renault and Alpha. And last of all, Racing Point. And also, I need to commend and applaud a Racing Point, uh, a Racing Point driver, rather, Lance Stroll. P4, I think he was slightly unlucky to finish in P4, because I think he could have finished in P3 had he been a bit luckier at times. But, you know, P4... It is, but great drive, very consistent, great defending at the very end, and I think did deserve a great result today. Perez, I do feel slightly sorry for him, but again, made a critical error, getting on the throttle way too early, and if he had survived, I think Perez could have been right in there for a podium as well, but he made a critical mistake, like many others did at Hockenheim. But for Stroll and for Racing Point, great day and great result. And of course, Williams at the back, 12th and 13th. Um, a good result, but it could have been better if they had gone onto the soft tyres earlier and took that risk. But of course, in you know weird conditions, you never know what's going to happen. But guys, that is it for the race review for the 2019 German Grand Prix. And I'll say this again. For me, this is the best race I've ever seen live. And this may be one of the best races in Formula 1 history.